Hey guys, it's Tony here at Game Freak Blog again, bringing you another video. And as you can obviously tell from the uh, the screen, I'm bringing you some uh, Zelda Ocarina of Time gameplay on the N64. And the reason for this is is quite simple. Uh, unless you've been asleep for a million years, you realise that it's going to be Christmas soon. And um, I always love to have a brand new game for Christmas. Um, I don't mind if it's just sitting under the tree, sitting in a cupboard or whatever. But there's Every so, pretty much every year, um, I've either asked for a certain game from from somebody for a present, or um, I've actually been out and bought it myself, and then just you know kind of sat it and left it under the tree, um, because I just think that there's nothing better to do on Christmas Day than just sit for a few hours with a brand new game, something that you've never played, and um, and, and you know just sit and really really enjoy it and. Um, just one of the games that I'll always remember playing on Christmas Day is uh, Zelda Ocarina of Time. And um, I remember right when the, the game came out, there was real shortages for the game. I was working in Game Station at the time, <coughs> uh, excuse me, and we were told by Nintendo that there was only going to be um, a certain amount of copies. So we, we essentially got a waiting list together of, uh, you know, first come, first serve obviously for the for the game to come in uh i think in total for for we had it must have been about 60 to 65 um orders for the game and we had 24 copies of the game turn up and it was quite horrible really because i had to turn people away I, I, I had this woman who was um uh wanting the game for her son for christmas uh, she came in and because she didn't have a copy she had a right go at me she was uh, screaming her head off and i was like look it's not my fault blame fucking nintendo not me um but anyway uh needless to be say i uh, managed to get a copy of the game so that's all that i really cared about um and it, it just really i I, it, I think it came out in it was either really i should have checked this before i came on it came out really early december um maybe late november something like that but the game was out in time for christmas anyway i'm i'm, I'm waffling um i had it days before and I, I didn't turn it on i purposely saved the game so i could play it on christmas day and um it just holds really fond memories for me so i'm just going to play through a bit of this now and, and and in general talk about gaming at christmas and stuff as i'm going through the game so just to save on a bit of time, as you can see, I've already got the Kikiri sword and the, uh, uh, the, the, the Deku shield. And we're just going to go off to see the, uh, the, the great Deku tree now. I have done. Eh? What's that? Yes, I do. Yes, it is. And I get out my bloody way. A wimp is still a wimp, yeah, right. Piss off, let me pass, grumble, grumble, grumble. So we're just, we're, we're essentially, I mean, just time permitting, going to do the, uh, the, the the first dungeon, which is uh, obviously the, uh, the the Deku Tree. Oh, shite, we've got these guys over here. Yep, Deku Stick. Da -da -da -da. Again, just the sound effects and everything just takes you like and die. Um, and here he is himself. Great Deku Tree, I'm back. I love his moustache. But just the music, I can, I can, I can still remember sitting down uh, on the on the Christmas day when it came out and just just loving it. I mean, God, I'm 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 old enough to to, to well, <laughs> I won't go into how old I am. You probably know by now, anyway. But um, it it just took me back to being a kid again. I was just sitting playing this. It was just a real magical thing for me. And I, I'm just it, it was purpose that I was going to upload another couple of games. Uh, to do with you know stuff that I played at Christmas. Another one that I was going to upload was um, Icicle Works on the Commodore 16. Not that many people have, have seen it. I might upload that after Christmas actually because it's still a, a Christmassy game. 
but it was just this um, that I really wanted. I was thinking, what game to me sums up sitting there playing on Christmas Day? Uh, uh, and it was this one. So I thought, you know, I'd just bring you a, uh, a, a, a small section of this to play. You might have something as well, and I'm really interested to hear if you have. Um, obviously, get, put, put a comment down and let me know what game it is and see if uh, um, it's something that I've played or um, something along those lines. Um, because I'm sure it's not just me who likes sitting with a brand new game at Christmas and, and diving right into it. Whatever game that could be something modern, it doesn't have to be something oldish. I'm just putting this on because this was my favourite. Inside the tree. I completely forgot what um, I've got to do here. Probably kill these shrubs for starting. It's off. I'm sure that there's a um, set it to see and try throwing it. It will flash and stun the enemy. So let's just put that on just for. Um, okay. <laughs> He's just screaming. Um, Heart, please. Shut up, Navi. See down below this web using. Yeah. Come on, are they going to give me a uh, heart? Thank you. Um, I can't remember what way to. I think we go. We just go up this ladder. I can remember we've got to jump all the way down into the uh, into the web. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, all the way around. Thank you. I mean, seriously, if there's ever um, a, a game that is a timeless classic, it's it's talked about all the time. You know. Um, uh, uh, game being a classic bloody game or whatever but it, it really is it's just it just never gets old I love the way it goes in that the Dundion Dungion map Excuse me. I don't want to stop. Oh, when well you get off. Right, we obviously need the slingshot. I think we've got to. Uh... Just equip 
our slingy shot. So now we can go up the section where the skull chillers are. Joypad. Nice. And you mate. Up we go. I wasn't a massive fan of Majora's Mask, I have to say. Um, I might give it another go when it comes out on the 3DS. Uh, I, I just, I don't know, I just couldn't, I, I just couldn't really get on with it. I, I can't really remember all that much about playing it. Um, oh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, I can't remember that much. Uh, um, about I just remember it not really. Oh, shit, I can't do it. jump off here, can't we? Yep. <laughs> ah. Right, I seem to remember this being the bit with all the... Yeah, we've got to light the torches. Can't get over there. Mm -hmm. Can we? Let's just take that. Is that the gold? Is that a gold one? Yeah, I think it is. Probably get a uh, an achievement for for th for these now these days. Ah. Can we? Am I just being dumb? I think I am. No. I don't know what sod it? I'm not. I'm not playing it for the baby. <laughs> Nearly. If you're standing there screaming at the uh, screaming at the TV, don't worry about it. It's only a um, fuck it. Um, right. Trying to remember the way to uh, the way to go, chaps. Ah, right, there you go. Thank you. Oh, piss off. So, uh, drop there. Yeah, I'll simply run across. Right.
I should have maybe equ equipped my Deku sticks. Uh, See, it's semi coming back to me. Please forgive me, Master. I'll never do it again. Yes, all right. Go on then. <clears throat> Punish them in the proper order. Two, three, one. Yep. Yeah. Dirty, stinking, lousy traitor. Played it in a while. I know sitting there getting wound up. Right, here we go. <clears throat> Come on. This is the bit where I've got to light uh, these really quickly, isn't it? Oh. Oh, 
Bennett, screw you. It's all flooding back. It's all flooding back. I'm sure there was a thing. If I think if you put them away quickly enough, um, you don't lose them. Well, I know if I can put them, but I don't want to. I like to get uh, grisly and messy. Like the spiders, and it's the bloody plant that damages me. <laughs> right, come on. I'm not even sure if I'm going the right way here. Ah, yeah. And we have to push that over, and then we can run and jump with the lit stick from that side over to this side I'm not even don't even tempt me gold sculpture Gonna take crackerjack time in Wang. Ten out of ten if you got the reference there. Oh, shite. Move forward. Oh. Two, three, one. De Gras, the Coupe de Grace.
Lovely big cavern. Oh. How atmospheric. I love the boss names of these uh, in, in these games. What's this one? Parasitic Armored Arachnid Go. Oh, I forgot the. Um... to slingshot the eye first. Taken. I'm sure there's a there's a method. I think it's if you do if you do the uh, the big double jump, the big double jump. Um, I'm sure you used to be able to do that first hit. So I'm just forgetting the end, the, the, the boss pack. I'm just gonna wait until the end to red and then see shots. Up. Parasitic armored arachnid goma down. Thank you. I don't know if on my first place where I got the, the full hearts. I don't think I did. There's so many little chunks of heart to get that I uh, I'm sure that I missed some of them not much longer guys I'm just going to see what the uh, what the tree's saying well don't get free block I can remember feeling sad at this bit oh. thou hast verily demonstrated thy courage now thy may bite me Yes. Your mother wears army boots. Wicked 
man of the desert cast this dreadful curse upon me. Bin Laden? Let's see if one sees his uses while sorcerous powers. I can still remember being quite blown away that this actually had cutscenes in it. So it was the problem with the uh, the, the N64 that um, I mean they they the money you know they managed to squeeze them into uh, Resident Evil 2, but um, I mean that cartridge was just absolutely massive. But I mean, who needs a cutscene? Look at this; it's just it's fantastic. Faro, the goddess of courage. Farore. Pharaoh, I don't believe you know. It's awesome. You know what? I mean, just here's here's an ideal gaming situation. It's pissing it down with rain outside. You know, it's kind of dark, but not pitch black. Just that, you know, it's just about evening's just coming on. You sit in, the fire's on. You've got a lovely hot mug of tea or a, I don't know, Johnny Walker Black Label, whatever you want. And you're just sitting down playing this, lovely and warm. Lights are off. It's just you and the, the glow of the TV. I mean, it's just magical. Basis of our ward's provenance and the basis for loads of really bad tattoos. Don't worry. Leave it to me, beardy, mustachey. It's an impressive moustache for a tree. Oh no. Oh no. I'm grieving already. No, don't go, Deku. Go now to Hyrule Castle. There thou will surely meet the Princess of Destiny. Take this stone. stone. I don't want it so much. Ah, so I've got the stone. Kiri's Emerald. <clears throat> Excuse me. The future depends upon thee. Thou art courageous. <laughs> Thou art a chicken shit. I treat ye no good. Bye. Oh, I can remember feeling really gutted at this bit when the, the leaves and he just gets petrified. It's. Oh, look. Let's go, yes, let's. Goodbye, Kratilde. And with that, the quest begins. So guys, thank you for tuning in. Oh, sorry, I've got an itchy nose. Thanks for tuning in and watching the video. Um, this has just been my look at my favourite ever game that I got for Christmas. Um, I just believe that you should. everyone should have a game for Christmas, no matter what that is. Something you can just sit 
in front of the fire, nice and warm, stuffing your face full of chocolates and booze. Um, there's just nothing quite like it. I don't know if I'm going to upload before Christmas, so if I don't, I have an absolutely brilliant day. Um, I hope you get everything that you want. I hope Santa's going to bring me a shitload of amiibo. Um, but if he doesn't, you know, so what? I'm just, I'll just get pissed. Um, so anyway, guys, thanks for tuning in and watching this video. Take care, have a fantastic Christmas, and I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye-bye.